You know it's Strike Force, baby. What's up, y'all? It's Gene from Strike Force Recordings. Today I'm going to show you a little bit with elastic properties and Pro Tools and how to kind of work with your audio like MIDI. Um, you can see I got a little Ford four track instrumental loaded up in here got bass drums guitar and an organ uh, basically get right into it we're gonna highlight the track start off with the drums I'm gonna come over here to your elastic plugins I'm gonna use rhythmic most of the time you want to use rhythmic with drums click on that on your waveform you're gonna go into your analysis that's gonna give you your analysis markers you can see them lined up here now when you're playing live you wanna make sure you're exactly on grid so we're gonna hold down alt zero going to get your quantize. This is going to be able to quantize your drums or whatever you're doing. Uh, just You can come in here, change in the, how you want to quantize them, 8th note, 16th notes, however you want it. Make sure it's highlighted. You just click apply. You can see it shifted a little bit, lined it up right with the one. Now after you quantize, when you come in here to warp, you're going to see it gave you little, little markers down here at the bottom, these little blue markers. This is going to allow you to actually move and stretch your audio around. Like you see this hit over here, I can actually take it now and move it. If it was a little off, I can actually shift it to exactly where I need it. This also works. We'll go ahead and do the same thing with our guitar track, except this time we're going to do it in poly polyphonic since it's more, the, more of a rhythmic track. Do the same thing. Get our analysis markers. Alt-0. That'll let us quantize it. Apply that. Go up into warp. Make sure we hit apply, go open the warp, get our markers. Now with this you can also, if you hit Alt-T, you can transpose, transpose this. Now I'll let you hear the guitar how it sounds now. Now I'm going to transpose it from a 60 to a 70. Just turn it up a little bit of a notch. You just make sure it's highlighted. Click apply when you play it back. Right, those are just real quick functions you could do with elastic properties, transposing your audio. Uh, you can see I did the same thing down here to the organ track that I did to the rest of the tracks. You can see how it ends on this, this high stretch of an organ. Now if I wanted to carry out that organ hit out into the hook, I would just stretch it out very easily like that when you play it back. You hear how it has that little bit of a glitchy sound? You can come in, into your uh, elastic plugins, go into polyphonic. We're going to change this window from 37 milliseconds. We're going to raise that up some. And that gets rid of a little bit of a uh, glitch sound that you were hearing. And you can just imagine a lot of ways you can play with this. If you have a note, uh, a vocalist singing a note that you need to stretch. If you have an 808 kick drum that you wish you could make it just a little bit longer. These are a lot of the ways that you can really play with elastic properties and Pro Tools. Uh, you know, when you're tweaking up your sounds, if you want to stretch a, a kick or a snare, make it really sound funky. Uh, when you see, if you go too much, you'll get this red. Is this Pro Tools telling you that you've gone too much, and you might want to play back to check how it sounds? You know, if it doesn't sound too messed up, it might be all right. But that, when it gets red, it's just Pro Tools telling you that it thinks that it's, you're moving it too much. You're doing too much compression with it. Now, if I was to come to this little break here in this guitar, you can see. I'll play it back for you real quick. See how it cuts it off short. If I was to stretch this out, say I want this note to carry all the way into there. You can see it's saying that it's red. I, I'm doing too much. But when you play it back, it's, it's pretty much exactly what I'm looking for. Just wanted that note to carry out up into the next bridge. Now with some of this elastic audio, I know a lot of you are already thinking of ways that you could really play with your audio, get the sound you've been looking for. I found it very helpful and I hope I helped some of y'all. You know it's strike for us, baby. I need some water banging beats.